I want to get more rings than Tom Brady. No! Hey! Oh. Austin has a lot of goals. College scholarship, you know, that would be, you know, one of the big goals coming up. He's got a good seven years to go. You know, if he plays well, his next goal would be to play in the NFL. If you believe it, you can achieve it. So I definitely believe it for him. His work ethic is off the charts. His talent level at this, at this age is phenomenal. I assume he's gonna go up as, a, as an eighth grader and play varsity. He's very, very coachable, very intelligent, and a maturity level that's, that's well beyond a sixth grader. It's amazing to see that, you know, he's already worked with Dak Prescott, Peyton Manning, Eli Manning. This all took place in elementary school. Like he literally just stepped foot in middle school. It's an amazing experience just to see what he's accomplished so far. I had a picture of Tom Brady and all his seven rings. I want to get more rings than Tom Brady. I'm not into like me being compared. I only compare myself to myself, but I don't want to be another Tom Brady. I want to be the first Austin Christian. My name is Austin Christian, I'm 11 years old and I play football. Here we are, live here on NYSR National News Sports Radio. Kenny Long with you here. We want to talk to a very special guest who's uh, had some great things happening to him. Austin Christian, how are you, sir? Good, how are you? The schools are back in session. Um, is, it, are you, is it middle school ball with you right now? Uh, yeah, I'm playing middle school um, first year this year as a sixth grader. What, what are your hopes and dreams? Where do you want to go? Uh, where do you want to take this? I have a list of all the high school records um, outside my bedroom wall, and I want to be on that top of the list. And I, we highlighted Tim Tebow's name because we expect um, we want to break his record too. I've got no doubt that you're going to get there. So good luck to you, Austin, and you know, but keep in touch. Let us know what's going on with you. All right, thank you. In normal days, I wake up. I actually do a QBIQ online class with Chris Hickson. He can give you a packet of like all the team's defensives that you're going against so you can prepare for the next game. Let's go over basics, make sure we got it, right? Just cover cover two. Uh cover two, two, four, six, seven, bang nine, cover three, zero through six and eight, bang nine, bang eight, bang nine on hash. So the boundary would be two, four, six, seven, bang nine, right? And then the field. Field would be zero through six and eight. Alright, two man? Two man zero through seven. Awesome. When I say break a leg, it doesn't mean break a leg. Yeah. That's the business. Yeah. business. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Bye. Thank you. What up, Austin? You ready to work, bud? All right. Let's go. Start off with Icky Shuffle. Uh, today, our main focus was on his agility, his ability to accelerate, decelerate uh, safely and efficiently. On other days, we work on his linear speed um, and also his core and strength work. At this point in Austin's development, we want to make sure he develops great habits as far as his speed and agility technique, his strength technique, uh, so that he carries those good habits on to high school and beyond. What I've noticed with Austin is he's got uh, great arm strength, but even better yet, just great work ethic. That's gotten him to where he is today. Hi, baby. There you go. I started playing football pretty much my whole life. Um, I got into football because my grandpa actually, he played at Kent State and he was a quarterback there. And I just kind of built on what he uh, taught me when I was younger and I just kind of stuck. So this is the award I got from QV Universe. It says be, uh, best QB in the universe. This is when I, this is when I got a picture with uh, Dak Prescott at Kenny Shaw's camp. He picked me first for his team, and we ended up winning the game. And I had two touchdowns. And then this um, is Peyton Manning. This is me fist bumping him. This is one of my favorite pictures, and this was right before he got. Um, chosen to be in the Hall of Fame. This is uh, Trent Dilfer. He's the one who actually started the QBIQ system and he won a Super Bowl. This is Cooper Manning, Peyton, um, Eli, and Archie. Um, and this is me throwing right next to Peyton Manning. And this is the Brett Cooper Academic All-American Bowl. I got the I got the Peyton Manning Award, the Aaron Rodgers Award, and the QB Champion Award for the two times I've been there. Let's go. Bring it in, bring it in, let's go. Wrap it up, let's go. Austin's an incredible athlete for one. Um, it's just sometimes hard to 
remind myself and remind other people that he's still a sixth grader. His skill level, his skill set, his work ethic, his leadership uh, is well beyond being a 12-year-old. Today was an offensive day. We uh, worked on our individual skills uh, on the offense and then uh, played some team offense. Full tilt. It seems like the sky's the limit for Austin. You can just kind of feel his love for the game and for his teammates. But he's a great leader too, and his teammates look up to him, and he loves the game, so I think he's going to go far. Cryotherapy is a form of therapy that is mainly used for recovery and pain management. Temperatures get around negative 200, negative 220. Definitely beneficial for a kid like Austin because he's training a lot, he's playing a lot of football, um, so he needs the maximum recovery he can get, right? So eating, sleeping, cryotherapy, what those are doing is helping his body recover and helping him be a better athlete. When I'm not playing football, I'm playing guitar. I started playing um, maybe a year ago. What I like about it is like learning all the strings and then you can put the whole song together and then once you like play it with the actual song, it feels like you're just in the band. And it's a really cool feeling. I'm proud of Austin because he is just such an awesome kid. Um, school first, you know, he continues to maintain straight A's, which we couldn't be more proud of. And then um, just his love and his passion for football. It is so much fun to watch and, and watch him achieve, you know, everything that he wants to accomplish. The person that's helped me the most is my mom by far. She's like the best person. She helps me with everything. She cares so much. She's amazing. Austin has a lot of important people in his life, you know, obviously, you know, his brother, my mother and my father that have both, you know, helped him. He is a phenomenal quarterback coach, uh, Ken Mastroli, and then to the top. And so Matt Frommelt and Josh Vogelbeck both work with him there. And then he also has his uh, high school coach, uh, Mike Damiani. So he's got a great bubble around him and we're, we're thankful for all of his coaches. Advice that I would give to a younger football player is, Yeah, I am that younger football player, uh, I'd say. Just if you're in a dry spot right now and you're like, oh, I wanna throw further, I wanna keep my arm up more when I'm throwing, I wanna be more accurate, I wanna throw a spiral. Don't worry about that yet because it's all gonna build when you get older. You gotta take um, little steps one at a time. No days off means to me it's 365 days in a year. You gotta work every single one of those days no matter what. Work in your house, it doesn't matter. Go to a public park, find something to do. It doesn't matter, you just gotta get your heart rate up and just work out a little bit every day, you have to.